Hey guys, um, so I've tried this a couple of times today. I think this is take number three. Uh, the first time uh, my headset wasn't turned on, the second time I forgot to hit record, so that was fun. <laughs> um, so here's take number three. I should be really good at it by now. Um, so I've done a couple videos today. I did one video on opening up the WASP scanner, and these videos are actually doubling as um, training for some clients. Um, so we've done the WASP scanner. It's supposed to be cordless, and it will be cordless, but since it's brand new out of the box, I still have a cord, so let's pretend this is cordless. Yeah, okay, cool. We've got our handy-dandy little post-it cube, which has got a barcode number on it. I guess technically you could also use barcode numbers off of the scanner. Um, and it took us less than two minutes to set up our barcode scanner to work with our computer. So we're awesome there. Got that accomplished. Um, we have not yet opened up our handy dandy other little zebra no number over here with all the fancy boxes and the cables. That'll be coming up. Um, you guys have me today for the next few hours. I'm doing a total, you know, I'm going through everything here so that uh, we have a resource for our clients whenever they um, just need a quick refresher on all this barcode funness. So moving on, here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen right now. You're gonna be able to see my main screen, hopefully, in case I goof something up again, in which case my next video is gonna say, hey, this is take four. Um, you should be able to see my QuickBooks file. This is a brand new QuickBooks file that I brought in, a sample file. Um, and we're using QuickBooks 2019 manufacturing and wholesale. Actually, I'm open in accountant version, but um, for the purposes of the video, it's not gonna make a difference to you guys. Uh, we're going to go ahead at this time, go to edit, and I want you to time me. It's going to take me less than two minutes, and if I go over, I want you to take out my blabber in because I know I like inflate my conversations like three times over just by talking. So edit, preferences. We're going to go to items and inventory. We're going to want to make sure this button says enable my barcode scanner. Since we've already connected this bad boy, Mr. Tin Man, I'm going to call him because he doesn't have a brain. Don't forget, doesn't have a brain, right? He is not the TC25, so there is nothing in here that is remembering anything. It's just something that can read a barcode, okay? So it needs to be connected through Bluetooth or through a wire to your computer, okay? Tin Man, a hey, Tin Man, Lou. Um, okay, items inventory, company preferences. We're gonna make sure that our advanced inventory settings are turned on, okay, guys? Advanced inventory settings, go in. Some stuff's already turned on, pretend it's not. Um, our enable barcodes, so we're gonna enable our barcodes, okay? You can use tons of different barcode devices with QuickBooks Enterprise, but the big thing I tell people all the time, invariably one won't work. So make sure there's a return policy. If it doesn't work, send it back, okay? Open our barcode wizard if this is your first time. It's gonna default to I don't currently track barcodes in QuickBooks. I'm go going to ask it to copy barcodes from the item name field. I'm going to pause this for just one second while I wait on my minions to get sorted. What are y'all doing? Okay, well I need y'all to be super quiet. Can you leave for one second? I've got a video that I'm doing for YouTube. I'll help you guys do a YouTube video soon. All right, ready? Love you. Okay, all right, so the minions have been thoroughly distracted, they're back out. Um, we're gonna go ahead and it's a Saturday, so this is, this is what we're doing. Copy barcodes from the item name field. That's what we're gonna do for this, okay? You can also do from the MPN, you can do from serial number, you can do it from a ton of different fields. Um, I don't have anybody that does any of these except maybe serial number, MPN, item name, okay? If there's a reason you'd use one of those other fields, let me know because I'd love to know. Let's go ahead, and hit, go ahead and hit next. I'm going to assign it to all items. Wow, that took a second. And then let's hit finish. Doop -doop 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 -doop. It's a little brain thinking here, okay? And we should be good. And I'm gonna hit okay. Got it? Okay. Usually a little message pops up, but it didn't. There we go, ha ha. 
took it a minute today. I must need more coffee. Barcode copy complete. Okay, so let's hit OK. OK. And then we're going to go into our item list. And I'm pretty sure that was less than two minutes. Excuse the interruption. If it wasn't, oh well. So we're going to go to this screw here. Okay. We're going to pretend this post it deck is a screw. I know it's not a screw. Let's pretend. Okay. Hello, screw. So um, you can see the item name and number copied from there into this new field that you won't see unless your barcode scanning turned on the barcode number. So, Katie, I don't want my item name to be my barcode number. I want my own fancy numbers that I pull off of my barcodes. A very popular one is pulling them from our vendor catalog so we don't have to relabel everything when they come into our store. Um, I want to change the number. How dare you make me use my item name field to set up my barcode numbers? I know, I'm horrible. So what I'm gonna show you how to do is actually to change it without typing one single digit, because on top of that, Katie does not want to have to type in 655109811684. Okay, I don't wanna do that, because I have a barcode scanner. All right, Tin Man, let's do this thing. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're highlighting the barcode number scan. <gasps> Look, magic. So um, we now have our new barcode number and Tin Man has done his job right now. If you want to batch change them, you can use, um, which you couldn't use your barcode scanner to do it, but we use Transaction Pro and Porter a lot. You can also use the add edit multiple items list to do multiples at once. If you want to copy and paste from Excel or what have you, you can go through and just scan if you want, but obviously um, you're going to want to make sure that the field you're working in is, it won't work in Excel. You have to make sure that it's uh, able to be used with a barcode scanner, okay? Most, forgive me if I said this already, because again, this is take three, so I'm starting to go. Um, most of your barcode scanners will work. Again, just to recap, hopefully recap, um, but make sure you've got that return policy. If it does not work, send it back. There's no point in trying to mess with one of these, but similarly, don't let Tin Man sit on your desk for four months, get you out of the return policy, and then scan it, and then say, hey, this doesn't work, okay? That's what return policies are for, but if you wait four months to test it, that's on you, man, okay? So I hope you like this video. I hope I was able to make it a little fun because whenever you're talking about inventory and accounting, a lot of times it makes a lot of us go into a snooze fest. Um, but hopefully I was able to keep you awake and you should see some more barcode scanning videos here coming up on the blog. We still, again, um, are, have to do our zebra. So we're gonna do the zebra inventory scanner as part of another post. This is Tin Man. Our Zebra TC25 is the one with the brain, so um, we're going to work on that soon, all right? Uh, let me know if I can help with anything. Um, email us. We're looking forward to your email. Thank you so much, and talk to you soon.